Hello Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Taurus today. <clears throat> Two Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I hate to say this, uh, Taurus, but it feels like with the Four of Cups, Seven of Swords here, some of you could be dealing, unless roles are being reversed here, okay? Um, but you could be dealing with somebody manipulative or a very deceptive person, very sneaky person with the Seven of Swords here. Hmm. And hence, we've got the Four of Cups. That's why you just don't quite believe what they've got to say to you but they may be saying to you it of wands words that you may want to hear but four of cups here also can indicate someone could be rejecting someone when i say someone that means could be you or this person okay so ten of swords here is a mover so there is someone who wants to communicate in regards to reconciliation in regards to healing this connection and eight of cups here in reverse can indicate maybe this person hasn't moved on yet, finding it really hard to move on. Uh, Taurus, again, it could be you or this person. I definitely sense there could be um, a reverse role here. That's why I kept, I kept repeating it. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles here. <clears throat> so there's a lot of observation going on. And Five of Swords also. I feel like some of you, you may be wondering if you should actually continue fighting for this connection or completely let it go. Unless it's your person wondering if they should fight for this or they should let it go. Because it feels like they're trying to tell you something here, eight of wands. They haven't yet, they're going to tell you in the near future, okay? Like they, they, it feels a bit like with the magician here, they have put, a, put in a lot of effort, even with the five of swords here, to try to convince you that they were not lying or that they you know that they didn't do anything wrong or that they only love you and they just want to be with you just an example but it feels like someone is not buying it again Taurus it could be you or this person but someone here is not buying all of these sweet flowery words um, and someone here is putting in a lot of effort but all of these efforts are just words though mm-hmm and we've got the Hierophant here in reverse. This indicates somebody breaking their promises, or it could indicate a separation, lack of structure, or lack of support from family members for some of you, or friends. The Hermit here is in reverse. Hmm. Spirit says use your intuition, because the Hermit is a Virgo energy, and Virgos are very highly intuitive, so use your intuition right and the star here also can indicate you needing to focus on yourself go through healing and recovery and don't forget that you are the star okay so you're up there don't um something about you know not choosing try not to choose to be with um a low value man or low value woman okay but the star also can indicate hope Someone could be hoping to heal and recover this connection. But I see hesitation here with the Four of Cups, whether it's you or this person hesitating to, hesitating to reconcile. Hmm. But someone is waiting to want to reconcile with the Seven of Pentacles here. Also, there's this energy of, you know, I don't want to let this connection go. I don't want to walk away from this connection completely because I've already invested so much in it. Two of Pentacles. I'm going to pull out a few more cards. Hmm, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo here again, uh, Virgo, Capcom, Taurus. Someone could also be planning, right? Planning to return, planning to sneak their way back into your life. 
or vice versa and two of pentacles here someone could be juggling two person at the same time but choosing two swords here in reverse choosing to extend an olive branch to you or you to them so the nine of wands here is in reverse can indicate inaction or somebody who may be a player mm, some of you could be uh, going through healing and recovery because someone may have played you in the past here you may have seen this person's uh true colors and with the page of wands this person might come in and apologize to you yep that one person who may have played you will come forward and ask for forgiveness or even or also try to have sex with you <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here but i see you not trusting them though yeah because see the, the the star not wearing any clothes and page of wands indicates passion desire so they may try to initiate something they may try to reach out to you and they want to be intimate with you but then you might end up rejecting them or spirits could be saying to reject them okay because again you are the star that means you are way better than them because they may have done something here in the past that was deceptive or that they may have played you here in the past we've got these six of cups here in reverse so for me a lot of you may be thinking it's not such a good idea to return to this person you have some bad memories in regards to this person they may have lied to you or that they may have broken their promises they couldn't commit with a heart fund here in reverse heart fund in reverse also can get divorced some of you, you could be going through a divorce right now right and the spirit's definitely encouraging you that if you're going through a divorce right now, asking you to go out more often, to hang out with your friends, to socialize more, to come out of this isolation mode here, okay? I'm going to pull out a few of these oracles. So it says they could, this could be the one. Someone may see you as the one for them, right? Hence they wanna. Hence they wanna heal this connection with you, but at the same time, well, we've got the King of Pentacles here. So someone may wanna commit to you, but I feel like either you are unsure about them, or that they may have to choose between you and somebody. We've got codependency here. I've got pay attention to the red flags. See, definitely a lot of cards that indicates to me deception, someone being dishonest. Most likely they may have lied or cheated or tried to manipulate you in some way, shape or form unless roles are being reversed here. Unrequited love, let go of control issues. So the unrequited love, I feel like one person may be invested more than the other person. And some of you may be thinking also that this whole thing is completely out of your control. The only thing that you can control is yourself with the star here. And we've got attraction worth waiting for. These two cards are in reverse. I'm going to read it as in reverse. So there is a waiting going on here, right? Seven pentacles. This person may be waiting for an answer from you or you may be waiting for an answer from, from this person. But if someone here is making the other person wait for too long, they're not going to wait. That's what I'm seeing here. Could be you or this person. All right, Taurus, this is your bonus reading. I hope uh, it serves you well. If you resonated in some way, shape, or form, um, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I'll also leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the science with different topics, different questions. And these readings are still new, so they're still valid, still relevant. Check, check it out if you want to. And Taurus, hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye.